On the latest episode of what is going on with your dysfunctional Jaguars, it appears that Jaguars GM Trent Balky has been exposed for having a burner Twitter account. Let's talk about it. Now, this video is sponsored by WinX DVD, and guys, WinX DVD is doing a Super Bowl 58 giveaway. Now, they're giving a six months free license to everybody who enters the contest, but they're also giving away a chance to win a PS5. Now, to tell you guys a little bit about the WinX Video AI that they are giving away a six month license to. It is the best all-in-one software to enhance your sports video quality. You can download and record different highlights from the Super Bowl and edit your own Super Bowl clips. So how do you enter for your chance to win a PS5 and as well as a six-month license to WinX Video AI? It's as simple as predicting the winner of the upcoming Super Bowl 58 between the Chiefs and the 49ers. I have the link down in my description box down below as well as a pinned comment. And the contest will end on Super Bowl Sunday. So big shout out to WinX DVD for giving away a free six-month license as well as a chance for my subscribers to win a free PS5. So awesome stuff. Definitely support the sponsor. Thanks to WinX DVD for sponsoring this video. Now let's go talk about our GM. Now, fresh off of the worst press conference in Jaguars history, and look, there's been a lot of bad press conferences. At least with Urban Meyer, we knew he was kind of a dead man walking in some of his press conferences. But, you know, we saw a press conference where Trent Balky basically ele elevated himself to executive vice president of football operations. He's in on the defensive coordinator interviews. He is the highest ranking football person in the building. And he had a press conference where he held, he took zero accountability. You know, he he was basically blaming coaches for everything that went on, saying that it's not personnel. He went on to basically say any incorrect GM move that he had when asked, hey, do you regret not doing this? He says, I don't live with any regrets. So if you ask him, hey, at last season, everybody was begging for an edge rusher. And your backup edge rushers combined for three sacks. Do you wish you would have gone out there and signed another edge rusher? He says, well, I don't live life with any regrets. Ridiculous. The most, the worst cop out you could ever have. But nevertheless, here he is. But the thing that's been kind of funny is that over the course of the last week, it's been almost at least heavily, heavily talked about and almost confirmed that he has been on Twitter the last year and a half under a burner Twitter account at Broad Dog 4. You spell it at B R O D D A W G 4. And he started up his Twitter account in December of 2022. And he is just basically coming at everybody over the course of really the last, like, since I guess he opened his account, especially more recently as the Jaguar season unfolded. This coming at different Jaguar fans and Jaguars media people with all different kinds of insults. I mean, the most common this is that I've seen going through the account is calling people nerd, fragile, sissy, idiot, video gamers. Even when I had a tweet saying that the Jaguars roster was awful, he came at me with, quote, roster wasn't awful, genius. Go back to playing video games, is what he said to me. Interesting. And look, how do we know it's Trent Balky? Like, like, how do we know if it's him? First of all, he's really the only person out there on Twitter that's like openly defending Balky in every single one of his tweets. I mean, his Twitter narrative is basically insult people who say anything bad about Trent Balky, basically defending Balky and talking good about Trent Balky. And and he's out there kind of blaming coaches and saying that the roster isn't bad and basically listing all the different good moves that Trent Balky has had. And also even going back to past drafts and, you know, basically advocating for the Jaguars to draft certain players. And, you know, he advocated for Britton Strange. He advocated for Luke Fortner, always certain players this account has done. So, and also it's interesting because he was, has been pretty active on Twitter 
but all of a sudden took about an hour break while Trent Baalke was having his press conference. Then he started going after it at going at it after it. Everybody who was saying bad things about Trent Baalke, about how bad his press conference was, he was like defending Trent Baalke, saying he thought he did a good job, you know, going out with these different ridiculous disses that he has. And I think the main thing is that he got kind of exposed. You know, a bunch of people were starting to say, you know, especially Dilla was like, hey, guys, we've been monitoring this account the last few weeks. We're pretty sure if it's it's either Trent Baalke or somebody very, very close in a Jaguars organization, you know, somebody within the walls that, you know, has some kind of pull in the Jaguars organization. And the interesting thing is that when that was kind of brought up, he's been extremely active on Twitter, but all of a sudden he stopped. He hasn't tweeted in like, Four days, I think it is, after all these accusations kind of came up that it's like, yeah, this is probably his burner account. So this completely goes to Twitter and hasn't been active since. And, you know, I believe, unfortunately, at the end of the day, Balky is a lot like a lot of us. He spends way too much time on Twitter when he should probably be working. You know what I mean? I think a lot of us can relate to that. But unfortunately, a lot of us aren't making millions of dollars trying to build up an NFL franchise which is ridiculous. So I definitely recommend you guys all go check out this Twitter account at broad dog four on Twitter. And let me know what you think. I mean, I personally, I'm, I really believe it's him. Some people may, might not, but I really want to see what you guys in the comment section have to say about, do you guys think this is him? Definitely go check out the Twitter account and let me know what you think. And look, I don't even blame trip at this point. Like the main person I really blame is the cons for allowing this guy to stay in this football organization with the way he is and the way he's conducting himself. I mean, just terrible, just terrible. And I, uh, I'm going to go in on, I'm going to go in on the cons a little bit later this week. I, I wish this is one of those weeks where I wish I was doing YouTube full time to where like, cause I have, I've got all these different videos I want to make. I want to talk about, we need to pay Josh Allen. I want to talk about how to build this Jaguars team. I want to go in on the cons, but I only have about two hours per night to get into it. So this, this is the video tonight. I wanted to make this on Friday, but, um, you know, ha had some busy stuff in this weekend. And at the end of the day, idiots are running the Jaguars organization. I really do think that if you're in public and you look to your left and you look to your right, probably one of those people is an idiot. I believe if you go in the Jaguars organization, you're just, you look all around you and you're, it's full of idiots, unfortunately. And that's what's running with this team. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And uh, with all that said, appreciate you guys for watching this video. Look, my channel views go way up when the Jowers are winning, but they go down when the Jowers are losing. And right now it's January 29th. So if you're watching this video, you are a diehard. So I appreciate you guys for sticking with me. Please drop a like for me. And guys, we're only 13 subscribers away from hitting 18,000 subscribers. My channel will officially be legal of legal age. So um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to build this thing up as big as I can so I can really be the voice of your average Jaguar fan. I say this all the time. I'm not a Jaguar media person. I am no football expert. I'm none of that. I am just a fan that's talking to other fans that happens to have a YouTube channel. So I really appreciate you guys all for sticking with me. Like I said, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and go Jags.